cattle on government land in the Cherokee Strip of Oklahoma Territory. Man and beast are both blissfully unaware that their reign is over. Oh, I'm a Roman rambler, a tumbling tumbleweed. The prairie is my racetrack, the wild wind is my steed. Don Carver, just another tumbleweed. Go ahead and live. You've got a whole lot more right here than them that's a common. Lucky for you pups, this ain't my day for killing varmints. I never cease my roaming, I'm always hard to catch. But the pumpkin stays forever in the same old garden patch. The most fertile spot in the land, the Box K Ranch. Ranch Hand Kentucky Rose. He proves that a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Here comes Don. What have you got there? Why, it's wolf pups. Uh-huh. We poisoned their ma and pa, and I reckon it's up to us to give them a chance. Sounds fair to me. I'm for it. Cute little devils. The pumpkin lays and waits to be turned into pies and tarts. But the tumbleweed, it jumps the fence and heads for other parts. You cow nurses sure will be heading for other parts before long. I'm here in down south. The strip's been open to homesteaders. Do you mean this here Cherokee Strip we're standing on right now? Yes, Kentucky. I'm going out now to find out for sure. <coughs> Boss, can I come along? Saddle up. On the edge of the strip lies the cow town of Caldwell, Kansas. Population 200. Hmm. Ain't none of them homesteaders in sight yet. Your eyesight ain't none too good. They're coming right now.
That ain't no homesteader. It's a woman. Hey, I'll fix that. Thank you, sir. Shucks. Twerk nothing at all, ma'am. <laughs> My name's Mrs. Riley. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Good day. She's a nice widow lady that's come to take out one of them homesteads. It can't be no disgrace to be a homesteader when a woman like her is one. We're going back to our cows. All of the cattle are cleared from the rich grazing land by government order. Yonder comes the Triple X outfit. Uh huh. And there goes the circle dot. Golly, it's tough. There goes the diamond bar. Boys, it's the last of the West. A ceaseless line of home seekers streams into the town of Caldwell. Almost overnight, it mushrooms into a seething, raw-boned metropolis. Funny horses like water, and them being so sensible in other things. Here you go, boy. Nom 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 nom. A whole lot of cows. I don't know. You may come to like the smell of cow manure. It's good, isn't it? Hey, 
Hey, stop it! Stop watering that dumb pooch and get back inside where you belong. You this boy's father? Not me. This your dog? Not a chance. Then I reckon you'll be apologizing to both of them. Oh, shush up. Oh, boy. I said you'd be apologizing. Make a bow and say, Boy, I beg your pardon. Okay. I beg your pardon. Now say, Dog, I beg your pardon. I ain't apologizing to no pooch. I'll say it. Dog, I beg your pardon. Now get out and behave yourself. You're not old enough to carry a loaded gun. <laughs> I'm warning you to act like a man after this. If you ever meet that hombre again, don't turn your back on him. I'll watch him. Who's there? Benton? Not Benton anymore. I'm Bill Friel now. Bill Friel? Right. I'm a respected businessman, but you're all wet. In fact, you're saturated. It's not funny at all. Kind of is. I have the roundup report, boss. The last one. It sure is tough. Sure is. Let's have ourselves a drink. <laughs> Gee, mister, that was funny the way you made him take off his hat. Shucks. Ski daddle down, sport. Hold it. This one's on me. This'll do. It's a shame about the end of the range. Yes, sir. No more cowboys. It looks like progress is replacing us tumbleweeds, and there'll be new settlers coming from this direction and that direction. Who knows what'll happen to the Box K Ranch? I'm dry, Don. Just look at the crowd out there. Did you ever see so many people in your whole life? I sure haven't. Don, why don't you register for a piece of land and settle down? I wouldn't know what to do with myself, Jim. The only land I'll settle down on will be under a tombstone. And I'm not ready for that just yet. I hear ya. Gonna be a hard thing for all of us tumbleweeds to get used to. Not that we have any choice in the matter.
excuse me for a minute. Hi, mister. You know you shouldn't be in here. Boys outside, men inside. And do you know what we do when a boy sneaks in? We spank him. One, two, three. Off now. Watch this. I'm feeling lucky. Go! Get him! Let me go. <laughs> I... I'm powerful sorry, miss. I'll thank you to keep your rope off me. That sure was funny what you did with the rope. Imagine catching my sister. It's okay, she'll understand. I want you to meet her. Come on, follow me. Hi, Molly. Bartholomew. This is my sister, Molly. Well, go ahead. Say hi. Please forgive me, ma'am. I'll go. Take a look at this. It's called the Box K Ranch. It controls the waterways and there's a million in it. I'm going to get it. Okay, boss. Where do I come in? You help me out, and this is how we'll split the profits. Good. Will you, that is, was you planning to stay here long? Yes. We came to stake out a homestead when the strip opens.
It's a right good idea, miss. I've been aiming to stake out a claim myself. But I'd better be on my way. Good day. Well, goodbye. I should bust your living daylights. Miss Molly, I'd like you to meet my pal, Kentucky Rose. Howdy, ma'am. Hello, Kentucky. Good to have a friend. Oh. This is my brother, Noel. Noel, meet Dunn. We met outside. Let's go, Friel. Bye for now. Goodbye. Your sister's a mighty good looker. Yeah, but she's awful hard to impress. To think that gal could have a cayuse like him for a brother. He ain't her brother. He's her half-brother, same as mine. Kentucky? I'm going to register for a piece of land. Ain't nothing like owning land, no, sir. The day of the strip opening draws near. The wagons of an endless horde still roll in from the four points of the compass. You're okay. It'll be soon now. I could get the best claim in the strip, but I wouldn't risk my horse. He's a full brother of the champion racer, Salvatore. Well, howdy, ma'am. Fancy meeting you here on this fine morning. I was just fixing to register for a piece of land. Uh huh. Assuming I can make it to the land office. With this baby. You can't sign for no land with a kid in your hand. I know you're right. You wouldn't mind holding him for a minute or two? You'll do great. You're a natural. Let me tell you about the land that I'm going to claim for you and Molly. It's along the edge of the river here, and it's called the Box K Ranch. And you know what? Not a better piece of land in the whole territory. No siree. Now how would you like to see the horse that I'm going to be riding? That would be swell. Fastest horse you ever did see. Now here's the beast. And how does this strap grab you? Look, Mother, we have our papers.
you've sure done well for yourself. What about you? I'll done it up. You must be going somewhere. Anyway, I ain't playing no nursemaid. Thank you, Kentucky. Ooh. Bye now. Hope to see you again real soon. Why won't you just join Mr. Friel for dinner? He really likes you. No, I don't care for Mr. Friel, and I don't want to see him. Why, hello, Don. It's so nice to see you again. Let's sit down. Sorry I'm so clumsy. Oh, I'm sure you're not clumsy. Not really. Maybe something else has you a little bit distracted. Oh, why thank you, Don. Beautiful. Can I... can I ask you a question? Of course. They're holding a big street celebration tomorrow night, and I was wondering if you'd mind me taking you. I'd love it. The pumpkin lays and waits to be turned into pies and tarts. But the tumbleweed, it jumps the fence and heads for other parts. That's what you cowboys call yourselves, isn't it? Tumbleweeds? Yes, ma'am. I've been a tumbleweed all my life. But now I'm aiming to settle down. I'm getting real housebroke. I'm figuring to build a house, and I'm saving every cent that I can. They're coming. Make yourself scarce.
Well, thanks a lot, Don. See you tomorrow night. Hello. This is Mr. Friel, Mr. Carver. How do you do? What pretty flowers. Prairie flowers. I'll be calling for you tomorrow evening, miss. That is, if it's still all right with you. Of course it is. Don't go yet. I think I'd better. Howdy, Dad. What is this? Oh, it's nothing. Only a claim paper. I up and registered. So did I. I'm going to stake out the Box K Ranch House for Miss Molly. It'd be tough to see any of them strangers get in the old box, K. Don't worry, they ain't gonna get it. There's still some box, K strays in the strip. Sorry if we missed any, boss. I'll ride out and see if I can find them. I'll be back before sunset. This is our chance to get Carver. The fool's going back into the strip looking for strays. We'll report him to Major White as a sooner. He's breaking the law. They'll have to arrest him. White soldiers coming to arrest you. If you say we fight. No, my friend, not fight. If white soldiers want me, I go. Show them our appreciation with one great big round of applause. Here's to tomorrow and the opening of the strip. May we all get good claims. Come here, honey. Mama loves you, son. Be good and mind Miss Bamford. Uh oh, he's always sick. We'll fix you up. Addie, would you bring me that bottle, please? Yes, madam. 
It's good medicine, right, Eddie? Castor oil. Just like the doctor ordered. You'll give him some now and before bedtime. Will not. Listen, young man, it's for your own good. Love you now. That hurt me more than him. Shall we go? Don't wait up now. Isn't this fun? It's been a long time since I've been off to a dance. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lie. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. That sounds like a promise, Father. Yes, indeed. And where are they holding the square dance? Sakes alive, the night is so young. You will take me. Oh, over there. I'll let you lead the way. Won't you join me in the fun, Miss Molly? No, thank you. I'm going with Mr. Carver. I guess you're not. Carver's been arrested as a sinner. I don't believe it. Carver overheard us planning to stake the Box K ranch for you, and he sneaked in ahead of time to grab it for himself. I don't believe it. He's a sinner. He jumped the gun. Are you going to let him get away with it? This way, folks. Let him know what you think of him. Him. For Pete's sake, let's play. What is it, Molly? What's wrong? It's Mr. Carver. Don Carver ain't no sooner. He was out there. He was just looking for some box case strays. I'm sorry, but it's against the law for a registered man to enter the strip ahead of time. I'll have to hold him until after the rush. Sorry, sir. Sergeant, will you take care of my horse? Turn him over to Joe Hinman. Take his horse and outfit to Hinman of the Box K Ranch. Things have quieted down just like we figured. Yep. It's all in the bag. There's nothing to worry about. Let's do it.
What are you folks doing out here? We was just passing through, ain't that right? That's right, just riding. Well, we'll find out. You're under arrest. Oh, yeah? At last, the day. At high noon, a cannon shot will send 100,000 empire builders racing across the broken barriers of the last frontier. Nolan Friel shot down the trooper and killed my horse. Sergeant Matthews. They're the dirty, rotten, no-good fellows who stirred up the crowd against Don Carver, don't you see? Can't you get him out of there? Not yet. Speak to him if you'd like. What's going on, Kentucky? It's Nolan Friel. They're in the Strip, and they're headed for the Box K. Hinman has my outfit. Have it at the Live Oak. If I'm not there at the Cannon, go ahead. It's the best place in all of Oklahoma Territory. If I had a horse, we could be there in a jiffy, because Mr. Carter told me all about it. Almost time now, children. What? I reckon there'll be a place for us. You can outrun anything over a distance. After the rush is yours, saddle and all. Why are you two still sitting in here? I'm waiting for my brother Noel. I see. Oh, no, you don't. I'll be darned if you're gonna get left out. Take my horse. Ready for the signal for the maddest stampede in American history.
I'm headed towards the bottoms. Find me. He's clean got away.
soap suds. That lather's not from hard drain. It sure ain't. I got two shots left. Put them up. That dirty Sooner Carver just drove us off Null's claim. Tried to kill us. I don't believe it for a minute. It's true. Go see for yourself. You'll have to prove that to me. Lead the way. There's only one person saving you from a heap of trouble right now. You know who that is. I'll give you ten seconds to get out of my sight. Partner, you got more grit than any man that ever lived, and Miss Molly will sure be grateful for what you done for her today. Don Carver, the last time I saw you, you were under arrest. You're not only a sooner, but you're a thief. You've stolen my brother's claim and tried to kill him. Do you believe that? <laughs> I believe what I see. Get out. You heard the lady, right? Come on, Noel. Look at it, Mother. Isn't it beautiful? I will give thanks to thee, O Lord, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You didn't use no sense meeting up with me today. Well, so long. I'll be drifting on. It's going to be awful lonesome for us out here. Maybe so, miss. But I reckon you'll have some fine neighbors real soon. Yes, we will. You're in trouble, mister. If she grabs a hold of you, she never lets go. Don't she now? Shocks. Love you, honey. Let's get married. Hey, Don! I'm gonna get hitched.
Settling down sure is a good feeling. I aimed to do the same, but I missed by a mile. It takes two to make a bargain. Women aren't reliable. Cows are. I'm headed to South America where there's millions of them. Don's gal threw him over. He's headed smack bang for South America. Hop over and tell that gal she's a fool. You do as I say, or there'll be another cowboy smack banging it to South America. Hey, Pops, what are you doing on our land? That's our stake in the ground. Not for long. If you know what's good for you, you'll get. Please, sir, we don't want trouble. You're already in trouble. Now get packing and be quick about it. You boys will answer to God for what you're doing. And now what? Why don't you both draw? The government's gonna string you up for murder anyway, so take a chance. Old timer, get a rope. You keep them guns and horses till the government sends for them, and this claim is yours. Thank you very much, sir. Hold on to this, and good luck to you. <laughs> he must be in... An angel. The end of the long walk. <laughs> Hurry, Bart. Go find Molly. These are the Sooners who shot down your boy, Major. I give you my word I'm innocent, but if you say so, I'll climb back into the bullpen. You'll find better quarters at Caldwell House.
Mann. 